Okay. How, how does the sleeping arrangements work? It, it, there is literally six people living in this house, mm-hmm. in this home. Mm-hmm. Where do you guys mm-hmm. live? Meaning, is it an apartment? Is it a home? Uh, how many beds? How does this work? Mm-hmm. So, so right now, uh, we got this two bedroom. So right now, we're in a two bedroom right here by the beach in Santa Monica ocean out the window uh definitely can't own it it's way too much to own but uh we like to be here we like the lifestyle around here and we're saving up we we, we're good at saving so we plan to be in a big house with acres of land at some point soon in the near future but right now no we're in a two-bedroom apartment we have two beds in one room we have two king-size beds put together in one room and then we have a king-size bed in another room just one king-size bed so Sometime we may all sleep on the same king size bed together, and sometime we may, um, um, I may just sleep on the bed with one of them or two of them, and the other ones may sleep on another bed, you know. But we also have houses, like I said, we're doing real estate, so we have houses that we own, but they're in St. Louis, and none of us want to live there. And it, I, it doesn't no, have I'm, I'm, I'm talking about what so just in terms of you guys' living situation, so I get that. Okay, right. How, right. how, how does intimacy work? With you guys, you said you have one room where there's two king size beds put together. Another room where there mm-hmm. is uh, one king size bed. Just one king size. Is there is there a schedule when you sleep with everybody? Is you know are the women sleeping with each other? How, how does this work? No, nah, it's just it's just um, it's either with me. It's just either with me, and they might participate in that with me. Or I'm doing one on one. That's pretty much what happens. Okay, so they're never sleeping with each other outside of you. I haven't seen it happen. No, uh, they massage each other. They're intimate. I see them cuddle with each other, give each other massages, do each other's nails. Um, you know, take care of each other, help do each other's hair. But uh, no, they're not just really just getting intimate with each other on their own time. No. Is, is that against the rules? No, I'm open to that. Um, but I haven't had that scenario. Uh, I think that would be healthy, though, as far as I'm concerned. It's healthy sexual energy. But um, I haven't. No, nah, I haven't seen that. Okay. Um, again, st- staying along these lines, because th- this is this is a very interesting conversation. And I'm just curious. Um, in terms of everybody... I I guess being taken care of sexually. Mm -hmm. You know, people have different sex drives. Obviously, you, if you're involved in everything, you must have a sex drive through the roof. But the women who have higher sex drives, are they participating in every session, I suppose? Um, Right. So that's how it goes. Yes, that's definitely how it goes. So if she has a higher sex drive, then... We're having, we're probably more intimate than, we're probably having more sex than the one that's not, doesn't have as much of the sex drive, you know, because it's just all about flow. It's not about forcing or seducing. It's just all about flow. And, and, and forgive me because I know that this can be, uh, no, no subject sensitive. I want to Sensitive dig in. subject matter. But are the other wives, typically around are they participating are they watching or are they not allowed to watch is it is the rules look you know me so i like to do it like yeah go ahead i like to do it like this i like to do it like this um if you don't want to participate and you see the flow is starting just don't be in the room i don't like someone just sitting there observing that throws me off it's just that's not right you know but so that's how we kind of do. If you see the flow and you see we're kind of kissing and it's kind of going there, whoever's not on it just steps out, goes into the other room. Or if they're going to stay in the room, they should come participate in some fashion, whether it's massage, whether it's rubbing, whether it's some level of participation, you know. Okay. Yeah. okay. How, how often are you guys having sex in that house? Man, sometimes multiple times in one day, sometimes like, you know, when the pandemic happened, it was like (laughs) every day, multiple times a day, every day, every day, every day, every day for 500 days straight. You know what I mean? Uh, It's, you know, sometime, you know, we can, 
go a week or two, take a break. Uh, but it's a lot of sexual energy and it's a lot of love. So even when I tell myself kind of, hmm, maybe I should slow down, I kind of end up doing it. So the only way we really have a break sometimes is I have to tell myself, all right, we're going on a vow of celibacy because we're still spiritual. So sometimes we just go, all right, we're going on a vow of celibacy for two months or three months. We're going to go three months straight, no sex, no oral sex. You know what I mean? So we do that too, you know, because after all that sex, like I said, for 500 days straight, yeah, we took like three, four months, no, no nothing, you know? <laughs> My brother, you, you are, you're a human being, you're a man. How, how do you keep up? We're pleasing so many women. I think women. it has to do. I think it has to do with uh how much I eat, like what I eat. I eat a lot of fruits and vegetables. Uh, I would say a healthy diet. You know my organs and everything. I think it probably starts there. A healthy diet. So, is there anything in particular outside yeah. of fruits and vegetables? No, just fruits and vegetables. Just a healthy diet. I think um, it teas a lot of tea. I drink a lot of tea. Mm -hmm. Um, ginger root tea, burdock root tea. Um, I think it's probably what I'm eating. And uh, and I think just the love and the attraction, I think uh, we're attracted to each other that I'm just, I'm attracted, you know. And it's creative. You know, I also believe that sexual energy is tied with creative energy. So I'm a, I'm, I'm a, I'm a creator. I'm producing music. I'm painting. We're painting. And we kind of stay in that spirit of creating and you know, flowing. I think uh, sometimes people don't want to have sex because they're, they're depressed or they're mad about something. We try not to have that energy around. If there's a problem, let's just deal with it. Let's not carry this. We don't want to carry grudges. We don't want to carry bad energy or walk around depressed, you know. So we're big on let's keep the energy up. Let's keep the communication. If there's a problem, let's handle it. And let's not let's not be down. You know, I think as long as the vibration's high, I think the sexual energy's high. And I think there's no problem. Got you. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.